name is Natalia Kazarian and I'm a concert pianist. I was a Fulbright and Harriet Hill Willie Scholar in 2011 and I lived at the Fondation from 2011 until 2013. My journey began in BBC, the Republic of Georgia, where I was born and raised and uh, it's where my uh, love for music developed and that's where I began my formal studies of piano. Uh, when I was 15, my family moved to the United States and we settled in Michigan. And after I completed high school, I went off to New York where I studied at Juilliard. Um, during my time um, pursuing my studies at Juilliard, I you know, entered competitions and I started to have a, a performing career quite early on, even as a student. I was ready to to, to have some new experiences, to, to discover more of what I could explore artistically. And I had my eye on France, and it was a very opportune moment uh, during the first ever exchange between Juilliard and the Paris Conservatory. I was, I was chosen to participate, and that was a life-changing experience. I came to Paris, I got to study with Michel Berhoff, and I really wanted to have more time uh, semester was simply not enough. So I found a way to come back and I applied for the Fulbright grant as well as the Harriet Hill Willie and I was lucky to receive both. And so I came back in 2011 very focused on my project of studying uh, the 20 regards on Nathan Jesus of uh, Olivier Messiaen again with uh, Michel Hill. <laughs> During my time in Paris, the Fondation was really my home. It was the place where I could live and create and daydream and come up with uh, ideas and projects that eventually I took with me uh, when I left. Uh, it was a place where there was a true sense of community and many of the friendships that I formed in the building are ones that I've kept since and I'm in touch with many people who who felt like family. I have a lot of great memories actually in my studio. <laughs> it was a skylight and you know in Paris it rains all the time and so in the evenings when, it was, when it's dark and, and, and gloomy the, the sound of the raindrops uh, on the skylight was very, uh, it was very poetic. Uh, I felt like I was in, in a painting or in a poem and actually in, inspired inspired me quite a bit. Uh, the other space that is really special is the, the main hall, the concert hall where I am right now. Um, the, the murals and the, the instrument and just the, the space that is so welcoming to, to perform, to create, to share. Um, also the garden is just very, um, very serene. It's a little bit removed from, from the traffic of the city and the business of the city. So it, it feels like an oasis, uh, very much in the center um, of creativity. After my time in Paris, I continued my studies in Madrid uh, at the Reina Sofia School of Music. Um, and that was continuation of very serious uh, work as, as a performer. I had the honor of working with a legendary Russian professor, Dmitry Koshkirov, and uh, I took home to America with me a completely new way of seeing music and hearing music and um, just the commitment to, to the score and to delivering this art uh, on a much more um, sophisticated level in terms of commitment to it. After Madrid, it was time to go back to the States, and so I completed my formal studies by receiving my doctorate at the University of Michigan, and that was the place where I took everything that I had learned in, in New York and in Paris and in Madrid and put it all together into a mission, really, a, a project of promoting works by uh, underrepresented composers, like women composers and other, uh, other groups uh, whose music is truly great but does not have the same visibility on, on programs and on stages. And so many of the composers that I had discovered in, during my time in Europe, like Lili Bourget, like, um, like Gretchen Vazic, uh, 
whose works I, I, I love and I champion and I program regularly on my recitals um, side by side with the great composers like, like Beethoven and Brahms. Um, these compositions now form a core part of my repertoire and this project, this, this mission really inspired me to co-found uh, a chamber music organization with a classmate uh, called the Washington Arts Ensemble where promoting classical music and especially works by underrepresented composers uh, is now a part of our programming throughout the season and uh, we perform works by, uh, by George Walker and um, Florence Price and Amy Beach and uh, Melanie Bonny uh, many, many names that uh, I believe will become a part of the traditional uh, repertoire quite soon.